Hello there, lads and lassies. Welcome to Vermilion. As you can see, I'm in a nice little sort of manor. And uh, yeah, this painting in front of me. No, this is not a horror game. This is actually a painting program available on the Oculus Quest or Meta Quest, as it's now called. Anywho, uh, let's get you set up in your new studio. So, first things first, on my left or right handed? I'm right handed. Hey, great, you can always change the slightness settings, fine. So we could change our settings here, so we're in a manner at the minute, I kind of like it. Let's have a look at loft. Yeah, mm, it's kind of bright, white, meh. But I think the manor's better for this. I'm not going to do the pass through because I don't want you to see my room. Anyway, moving about the studio, hold trigger on your right hand and aim at the floor, release to jump to the target. Okay. Ooh, we're here now. Okay, so grab the easel by one of the handles on the side to move it to where you'd like. Okay. Let's uh, move this here, I think. That would be good. Grab the ease one and handle the side to move where you like. Feel free to paint either seated or standing. Well, I'm standing at the minute, so... Reach to the dagger brush on the rack with your right hand and press grip to pick it up. Okay. Use up and down to scale the brush. Right, that's cool. Okay. Squeeze the grip and move and turn your right hand to change your hold on the brush. Okay. Hey, that's cool. So squeeze the grip and move and turn your right hand. Blah 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 blah. When possible to paint a palette and a stand, let's grab it for now. Pick it up with your left hand. Okay, I've got it. So load the brush by pushing it into the paint. Hang on. Move that down so I can see what I'm saying. Um, easy. Painted brush is harder. Okay, so. Let's uh, load up the brush. Okay, I've got it. Okay, push it harder to load more paint. Right, there we go. Clean your brush. Get the best results from mixing. Clean your brush before loading another colour. You can clean your brush by swiping it on the rag above the brushes. Ooh, can we Bob Ross this? Yeah, we could totally Bob Ross it. Okay. Get the best result in mixing, blah, 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 right? Instant brush cleaning. You can also clean your brush by pressing A. Right. Oh, no, I just modelled up the perfect colour. You can undo the last one colour by pressing X. Which one's X again? Oh, yeah. Okay. For clean slate, press Y. Okay, easy enough. Take a moment to mix some colours. Try making green. Remember to clean your brush before loading colour. Do, 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 do. Let's see. And yellow. Bit more yellow, I think. There we go. Made a nice green. And then. Done that. Okay, we're good. Palette knife is a great tool for mixing. Right, okay. Uh, time to create your first canvas. You can resize it by grabbing the corner, learning set, place your hand on the green check mark. Let's put this down. Okay. So, we can make a... There we go. Uh, let you experiment with the different brushes for a while. Come back to me when you're ready for the final steps and you will unlock the browser. Hmm. Okay, so... I don't know, let's try this brush. And we'll try... It's black. Let's see. Yep, my, my great art here. Let's see. Get some more paint. Okay, that way, and let's try this brush here. Get some eyes going on, and a big happy smile. There we go, a work of art indeed. Could any of you do any better than this? <laughs> okay, let's uh, put this down. Okay, I'll unlock the browser. 
Mixing the canvas. Oil paint also mixes in the canvas. Use this to your advantage first by first painting the sky white and then going over it with blue. Use the rag to clean it. Okay. Using the rag. Okay. Just to fully raise it, do this. Okay, I can still see it, but. Dip it in. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so it says um, paint the sky white. So I'll use this brush. Okay. Let's see. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Let's just go with this a bit more. There we are. Perfect. Okay. And we need some uh, some blue. There we go. Oh yeah, I see what it means now. Oh, sugar. That's all I need to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you can mix the you can mix the paints. So that's cool. Let's reset that. Put this away. Okay, you can lay down thick paint on canvas by first fully loading your brush and then applying it gently to the canvas. If you only use a light paint load, your paint will remain flat. Brush pressure limits the amount of paint you can load on the brush. Use a pressure indicator. You can follow just. Okay. Let's see now. Oh, that's the pressure indicator, okay. And then, lightly brush it on, okay. A little bit more. Alright, okay. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah. I just like doing this, hang on. Yeah, he even does the noise, that's fun. Um, right, let's reset that. If you don't want your colors to mix, for instance, when painting highlights, apply thick paint. You'll find the thick paint does not mix with the thin paint underneath. You can flatten the bottom layer by going over it with a brush or the knife. Okay. Palette knife. Let's see. Right, so I can flatten that out. Ooh. See, I've never actually tried painting properly like this before. I mean, I remember I used to paint in school, but... You know, never never anything major, so... Let's see. Changing the mixing sensitivity. You can also change how much the paint mixes with the canvas and the slider. Depending on the settings, painting after the tutorial. Don't be afraid of paint mixing in the can canvas, so that's the power of painting. If you don't want to paint to mix canvas, use the layers in the browser menu, which will unlock shortly. You can undo redo your brush and brush strokes by moving the palette hand joystick left and right. Ah. Okay. Bucket paint thinner is not for cleaning the brush but rather for thinning the paint. Woo! What happened there? Um, swirl the brush in the bucket and mix paint thinner and colour on the palette to get transparent washies. Okay. I see, okay. There's a brush missing from there. Um, right, okay. Feeling a little shaky, press B to tog toggle the hand stabilizers to smooth out your brush movements. Okay. Okay, I've done that. You know the basics, time to get painting. I'll leave you with a list of suggested videos to start with. Okay, so there are videos to teach. Paint along. Painting Rob in Vermilion. How to paint Ross landscape in Vermilion. Bob Ross Mountain Summit. Alright, so we can actually watch videos while we're doing this to better understand it. So yeah, 
I'll set that over there just now, but I kind of want to make my own thing just now, so let's uh, clean this up. Let's see. Paint something bizarre. I don't know what I'm going to paint, but apparently, you know, if I had the time, I'd watch like hour long tutorials and stuff like that, but I kind of want to just do my own thing just now. Um, I'm not going to paint anything fancy, because I, I, don't, I don't know how, so... Maybe something abstract and weird, I'm sure. Let's see how we get on. Okay. Right, so... Let's, first of all, let's grab this. And get the palette knife, and I want to get, um... I want to get this here. Right. Okay. And let's see. Need the brush. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Let's get a little bit more on the brush here. I like the sound of wind and everything. The, the background noises are really kind of relaxing. Um, I don't know if you can hear them, but I certainly can. Okay. Let's uh, clean off the brush. We'll get the palette knife and I want to smooth this out. Nice and smooth. I don't want the colours mixing too much. Let's see. Got that going there. A little bit there. Okay. Right. So I've got a background. I'm going to want to grab this. And let's go for a red. What am I doing? I don't know. Just giving it a bit of a, a wash over. What can what can you be painting? Is it something amazing? No, it's just whatever is going on in this at the time. You know, art takes time. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I knew I, I wanted this as a background. There we go. Right. Okay. So I've got that as a background, and let's try this brush here. Actually, I want to mix some colours here. Let's go for this yellow here. A bit more. Okay. And this red here. Oops. Okay. I'm not. It's kind of something that could be painting there. So uh, let's see. 
No, not that brush. This brush. Nice blue color going on here. Right. And with um, this, I kind of want to get some white paint. Nope, that's definitely not what I wanted to do. B. Ah, run out of paint. Again, I have no idea. I've never painted before in my life, so properly. Anyway, I've uh, done. It. I used to do it when I was a kid, you know, obviously. Um, so whatever comes out here is just randomized nonsense. Let's try a different brush. Let's actually flatten some stuff out here. Okay. Right. Uh, let's try this brush. Mm, color, color, color. I don't know. I don't know. Green. bush there. <laughs> like with Bob Ross, the happy little bush. thing going on. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. No, that's not the colour I wanted. Uh, it was uh, red. Some apples on the tree. There we go. Um, everything's working out great, honestly. This is uh, exactly as I planned it. It started off so well, didn't it, without wash and everything? But, um, I don't care. Like I said, I'm no painter, you know? Um, Going 
going on here. The thing is, though, is like, if this is a Bob Ross thing, right, you know for a fact that this would end up being like some sort of amazing work of art. It's like, yeah, yeah, it looks like shit just now, but give me five minutes and look amazing. No, that's not going to work here. <laughs> but you know what? That's not the point. The point is I'm having fun, you know? I should probably have watched one of the tutorials of like painting a robin and the, the Bob Ross land, landscape, etc. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Uh, whatever. Oh, look, it's turned into nothingness. Isn't that amazing? Yes, anyway. <laughs> I'd love to be able to go, here's one I made earlier. Um, in fact, maybe I will. Who knows? Let's see. Right, I'm gonna have a bit of a practice with this. That's a better painting than that so far. So uh, let's see how this goes. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and starting a finishing touch here. Let's see, right there. Okay. So yeah, after a bit of practice, you too can pretend you made a work of art like this. But no, this is something that is actually possible to do on this. Um, there are various paintings already created on behalf of it. Oh, I'm sorry you can see. <laughs> um, let's see. Gallery, neutral mode. Um, so yeah, there there are various different paintings to to check out. You can start a new painting, you can check out other people's work. Um, I like that one in particular. But yeah, I mean this is the sort of thing you can actually do with this program. Um, which is really, really cool. And I guess, you know, it's going to take a lot of practice to be able to get like this, but they do have the, the tutorials, as I've, I've mentioned, um, where you can go on, you can check it out, you can do your own thing. But as a program in itself, I actually really like it. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, clean up my rag there. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and you can do a lot with it. I don't know what this is about. Is this for mixing colours? I, I, maybe? I don't know. Like, hang on, I, I'm going to try something here. Make a grey. Okay, and there we go. Ah, right. Okay, well that saves the palette a little bit. Anyways, right. <laughs> oh, I wish I could say I was a good painter and I had done something like this. But like I said, it's just about practice. And this program allows you to practice without, you know, using a lot of paints. You've got your canvas, you can have any size canvas you want. Small, large, up and down, whatever. And, um... Yeah, it just seems to be something that's... Ooh, nice lifting. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, it just seems to be something that I think those of you who want to be artists or those of you who are artists and you want to get some practice in can do so without using a lot of expensive equipment. Um, all you need is this program, get the practice in, and then see how it goes. Yeah, I don't actually have very much patience when it comes to painting something over hours and hours and hours, but... Maybe I'll learn to. Maybe I'll come back to this and I'll show you something I've actually done by myself. Who knows? Anyway, for the moment, thank you very much to the, the developer for sending this to me. Um, thank you, you lot for watching my awful attempts at painting. And I'll catch you next time, but until then... Bye-bye!